Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we are going to go back into our memory bank and think of all the things we've been through in life. And there are going to be some interesting artwork that we'll see that has to do with our memories. We're talking about an expansion for a very popular game, Dixit Memories. Now Dixit is one of the most popular party games out there, it has some original artwork. This is an expansion that adds more cards to that, about 84 more cards. Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to show you some cards, I'm going to show you how they differ from some of the other sets. Let's show you. Now here's a bunch of the cards for Dixit Memories, the latest expansion. I'm going to show you a bunch of my favorites. I'm also going to show you how they compare towards some of the other Dixits. Cool one with the lady, you know, swinging on the inside of a light bulb there. We got a vampire with a, an onion there. Interesting card here. Now the art here uh, does appear to be sort of a digital type of images, um, which is still, this is awesome. Like a music thing, right? Probably getting ready to write some music notes as a violin, as a pen quill. Really cool. This guy, look at this. Looking like Mario Brothers chasing the uh, chasing the controller. Really cool, you know. Day, you know, on top of the water, underneath. Really interesting images here. Uh, some nice color. They're, they're very. It's called memories, so they tend to be in generally happier, brighter colors with interesting images. Some of them might have some dark, you know, some dark things to it. There's a bad memory, but even the bad memories tend to be a little bit lighter than some of the other expansions that have come. Uh, so yeah, the, the artwork. So it's a little more digitally. It's not necessarily the hand brush like the original Dixit. It's more like the Dixit Journey, which was a digital image that looked really nice. And so here's just some of the cards. I'm going to start rifling through them pretty quick so you can just get a feel for what the cards look like. They are definitely, again, brighter, nicer looking. Really good, actually. Uh, from all the expansions that, that have come out lately, this is probably my favorite, actually, because I like how they're different. There are some ones that are sort of darkish, but they're not, like, totally strange. They're, these cards tend to not be, I mean, granted they're original, granted they're they're different, but they're not as like weird as some of the other uh, sets that we've seen. So here's sort of just a bunch of, I'm not going to show you every single card, but there's a good sampling of what the cards look like, uh, the different ones, and you can see if, if you like this style of artwork. I definitely do. Now let me show you how these cards sort of compare to some of the other uh, base games and some of the expansions that have come out. Now this middle here is the Dixit Memories expansion. On the left and on the right is two cards from the original Dixit game. The one was sort of hand drawn, that you could tell that it was done by hand. It's not sort of digital artwork. It's not as sharp. Some people like the, the artwork on the original ones really well. I prefer the clearer images of this. So I'll flip through, through a couple more of the new expansion memories in retrospect to the original type of artwork that's in Dixit. The original Dixit, the one that had the orange cover originally. Again, you can see a little bit of the differences there. Now, I'm going to put up two cards from Dixit Journey. This was my favorite. It was originally Dixit 2 expansion, but then came out as Dixit Journey, the base game. And this was my favorite. Up until this point, this has been my favorite set because they're, they're really good art um, and, and they're sort of digital images. They're really clear. And as I mentioned earlier, these new cards are close, most closely uh, aligned with the style and you know the digital images of Dixit Journey, which are the ones that I, I tend to like the best. So there's sort of a comparison between those. And the most recent expansion that came out was Daydreams. The, this was my least favorite of them, um, and I, but I still kept it because I like it, but it's still my least favorite because they're very muted tones. There were dark blues, oranges, pinks. There were sort of these muted weird tones because they're supposed to be a, a dream, Daydreams. Um, and so you can see how much more vibrant the colors are in the memories versus the daydreams. Now the daydreams wasn't bad. It's good to mix some of these cards in because you might want to say some things about some of the dark, the dark scenes that you want to talk about. But even this one, this is sort of a dark scene, but it's still relatively bright compared to some of the muted tones that you always see in daydreams. And so that's sort of memories and how it compares to some of the other Dixits. All right, well, there's Dixit Memories, and as you can see, these cards are light, they're vibrant. I showed you how they compare to other, other sets, uh, and I also kind of led to it during the overview that I do love this expansion. In fact, this is my favorite expansion of Dixit because of a few reasons. Number one, it uses that clean, crisp, clear, digital-style artwork as opposed to the brushed manual type. 
that's a personal preference thing. This is totally up to you. From the review overview, you can see the different sets I put out there, some of them that use that brushing technique, and you can see which, arting st which artwork style or artist, you know, tickles your fancy, which one you like the best. This is totally subjective here. For me, I like the digital clean artwork. I like the bright pictures, even in the darker scenes. They're not tinted weirdly. They just look nice. Uh, lots of cool images. Those ones of like the Mario Brothers and really cool images and excellent quality the kind that i like which is why this is my favorite expansion uh for dixit and there's not much more to say if you have dixit and you like it and you're kind of sick of the same cards this would be a great one to get to add some some newness to it and i showed you how they look to the other one so this should be a no-brainer and obviously i'm just going to put this in the, in the main box because it fits all in there so i'm keeping this in my gaming library so let's do a saxophone serenade to dixit memories to induct it into my gaming library Thank <laughs> you. 